Are you looking for a great express cruiser to spend your summers on? Then come with me for a walkthrough tour on this 2008 Chaparral 330 Signature Cruiser. She's very well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 496 engines with about 300 hours on it and has Bravo 3 out drives. She's loaded with features. She has a generator, air conditioning, four deck cushion, full enclosure, radar, and the sweetest thing, a bow thruster to make in close maneuvering nice and easy. So come with me for a walkthrough preview tour on Hoot Nanny here at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are on this 2008 330 Chaparral Signature Cruiser, starting off at the forward starboard bow. We see we've got a nice plow anchor, stainless steel docking light, nice covered windlass with foot pedals and remote control over at the helm. Coming down along the side, we see we've got wire fender baskets and what I call an LLI, ladies like it feature. We've got an oversized four deck pad with cup holders to enjoy the four deck. Chaparral does a really nice job with the curved Taylor windshield. Trumpet horn right here. There's our signature 330 badge. Coming down along the side, we have our deck plates, one for water, one for waste. Now this vessel does have the full camper back enclosure and a cockpit cover. Here at the transom, we see an extended swim platform with pop-up cleats, four-step boarding ladder, and a rail for ski tow right there. Let's get on Here on the swim platform, we see we've got some nice features. One of them being an in-deck table mount. You can put an additional table, put your barbecue out here, put a bait table, drink table, anything. To port, in our trunk storage, we have our hot and cold transom shower right here and all of our battery switches and room for supplies. There also is a remote stereo control here, so you don't even have to enter the vessel. Behind this cabinet, we have our electrical connections and hooks for our lines and fenders. We enter the cockpit through this center line door. Off to port, we've got a nice U-shaped lounger with storage underneath wet bar right here with refrigerator and pull out sprayer to starboard we've got a nice u-shaped seating area with storage up underneath now there are lower legs for that table and a sun pad so we have a great big lounge area there the cockpit has removable carpeting moving forward up one step, we have another, what I call LLI, ladies like it feature right there, a four and a half facing seat with a grab rail. Little com storage compartment there also. Here at the helm, we have dual thigh rise bolster seats for us and a companion. And underneath, we have our dual subwoofers for our Infinity stereo system. Coming over here to the helm, we see we've got a nice tan gel coat to reduce glare, wood chaparral steering wheel, which tilts, dual binnacles right here, bow thruster right at our fingertips to make docking nice and easy. The next level, we have our burled wood, Raymarine hybrid touch, 
GPS chart plotter. Over here, we've got our Lenco bow thrusters, the upgraded version with the lights so we can see where we're level. Battery parallel switch right here. Now at the top level, up here, we've got our depth finder, port side 4-in-1 engine gauge, dual tax with our Merc Cruiser smart craft in there which includes features such as fuel burn oil pressure voltmeter engine temperature and a, and a troll control also here's our miles per hour speedometer starboard four in one gauge and our fuel gauge right here this is the view from the helm access forward is nice and easy up the molded in steps through the windshield out to the deck. This gives us a nice overview on this Chaparral 330. She's very well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 496 engines. Engine access is nice and easy with the press of a button here at the helm. We have an electric hatch which opens up. If you notice, we don't even have to move the table. This gives us a nice close look at these Merc Cruiser 496 mag engines they're freshwater cooled have about 300 hours on them if you notice our port engine is plumbed right over the hot water heater so you have a constant draw these owners have added three additional group 27 batteries for even more power once away from the dock off to starboard, we have our holding tank. This gives us another view of the engines. Notice how neat and clean the whole compartment is. And here we have our Kohler generator with low hours on her also. Nice feature is you can enter the engine compartment and you have a place to stand. When we're finished with our inspection, All we have to do is touch the button and down it goes. From here, let's go inside. We enter the cabin and down a few steps. One thing we notice immediately is the upgraded wood floor in here, which adds a richness to the vessel. Nice warm look. The whole interior is finished with an ultra leather vinyl. Immediately to port, we have here our controls, our 120 volt, 60 and then here's our generator controls right down here this little dinette here has storage up underneath and is a nice sleeper there's a lower leg also for here and a pad if you notice up above we've got gunnel storage chaparral does a nice finishing job we've got solid wood tables, stainless steel port lights, ultra leather interior. Moving forward, we see we have our main seating area, which also converts to a nice berth. We've got a privacy curtain, and our table is electrically powered to raise and lift to make a sleeping area nice and easy.
we have our air conditioning thermostat right there more gunnel storage got a hatch with a screen and a shade on it there's our TV circling around more gunnel storage now under all these seats there's finished fiberglass storage in there so you can carry lots of stuff to starboard we have our galley our stereo and our DVD players right there Corian countertop storage below with a good safety grab rail drawers isotherm refrigerator right there we also have a, our electric stove dual burner upper shelf storage and we have our microwave right up in here moving aft we've got a nice head in here it's a solid fiberglass piece which is easy to care for easy to clean we've got a nice faucet there similar to what you might have at home vanity with storage and we have a second seat right here so it's easy to take advantage of the vanity counter right there put on your makeup shave whatever circling around these high glass steps right here we have storage up underneath and here's one of the best features behind this privacy door we have our master cabin complete with vanity sink storage up underneath and then as we move aft we've got a little seating area you can sit and take off your shoes or get ready for bed got a mirrored hanging locker right there and then a double wide bed it's probably seven feet long with its own entertainment area we also have a nice window for air and ventilation keep in mind this whole cabin is air conditioned and then pulling back let's make note we have about six and a half feet of headroom right here Hoot Nanny is air conditioned, fully loaded with bow thruster, twin Merc Cruiser, 496 engines, neat, clean, shows pride of ownership. Viewer today, be on the water tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.